In today's video, I'll show you how I made three different signs for Revel bikes. One of my buddies is a co-owner at Revel Bikes in Colorado. We had talked about making some plasma cut signs for his office. And once he had emailed me his digital artwork file, I imported that into Fusion 360 so that I could clean it up, make some modifications, and scale it to get the three different drawings I wanted to make these signs. Two of the signs will be dual layer cut out of 14 gauge hot rolled steel. One layer will be powder coated black and then the back layer will be powder coated white so that the letters stand out as white. The third sign will be a large letter R. That will be cut out of 12 gauge cold rolled steel. This is the sign cut out of the 12 gauge cold rolled steel. I recently purchased this angle grinder and wire cup, which the wire cup does an amazing job of getting any dross off the backside of these cuts. After going over the back side of the signs with the wire cup, I'll switch over to my pneumatic angle grinder with a 2 inch roll lock on it. I'll use a 120 grit on the back side of the sign just hitting the edge of all the cuts. And then on the front side I'll switch to a 220 grit. After getting the signs back from powder coating, I made sure to clean them really well in preparation for the double-sided tape. For the process of mating the two layers together, I use a 3M VHB tape. The white layer of the sign is slightly smaller than the front black piece just so that you don't see the white from the edges of the sign. 
So I utilized my fab lock table by installing some stops and using some spacers to help with the alignment. I used my CNC plasma table to cut out some templates to help with the alignment of these inner letter pieces. Between the two signs, I ended up using 16 feet of the VHB tape. I made sure to take my time to keep the mounting holes aligned. This was my first attempt at making dual layer powder coated signs and I couldn't be happier with the way they came out. Thanks for watching.